Snow blanketed several Midwestern states on Monday, including Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Instead of fall colors, many people in those states woke up to a winter wonderland with snow falling over autumn leaves. For many people, Veterans Day began with snow shoveling. Some communities were forced to cancel holiday parades. The accumulation of snow on the roads slowed traffic, which was lighter than usual due to the holiday. The highway itself wasn't so bad. It was just we were all going so slow, but the side roads were just putting along. I kind of am trying to leave late so that I can see, um, yeah, if maybe there's fewer people on the roads, you know, than there would be. So that was my strategy. The weather caused a plane to slide off a runway at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Passengers reported more than one attempt to land. There was no visibility at all. You know, the first visibility of the city, we got it when we're like maybe 50 feet from the ground. I mean, that's, that's dangerous, and you don't, you don't need to do that. Hundreds of other flights at Chicago's O'Hare and Midway airports were canceled. Road crews were out soon after midnight salting and plowing major roads around Detroit, Michigan. We had about 105 trucks that was out this morning. We had a full call out. But while the authorities were ready, residents in most places were not. I don't like it. I'm not ready for it. Uh, it came a little too soon. I don't have my scraper. I don't know where my boots are. It feels too early for snow. It just, I've been here 60 years, I've never experienced winter coming so early. While people across the Midwest complain the snow came too early this year, there are always those who love it. I like to jump in snow. We want to be able to play in the snow if we didn't have our no hands on and, and our gloves and our hats. In addition to snow, many East Coast states have been hit by unusually cold weather. A so-called Arctic blast swept from the north last week bringing freezing temperatures across two-thirds of the eastern states. Another one is expected to hit this week, bringing record-breaking low temperatures to many eastern states, extending as far south as the states of Florida and Texas by Wednesday. Zlarisa Hoke, VOA News, Washington.